Hello, my name is Jamal, and today I'll be showing you how to make your very own automatic sorting system. Now, this system mainly uses the more red power mod, as it uses pneumatic tubes, um, transposers, and sorting machines. Now, this here, this is what I call the dumper chest, this is any item you put in here, we automatically sucked through this transposer, up the pipes that are hidden in the walls, upstairs to my sorting system. So, for example, I put a piece of glowstone in here, like so. We get sucked up through the transposer. Oh, threw up all these pipes up along the walls. Through into this buffer, through this sorter, and well, you'll see in a second. Come on. There we go. So this piece of glowstone, it gets sorted through into the green. Now, in here, this is where all the sorting happens. At the bottom you see the red, green, yellow. It pretty much color codes the items. So the glowstone I color coded a green, so it went into the green chest. And so on. So if it Yeah, so if that's how it sorts the items. So obviously you can't put every item in the game in one sorting machine. So what he does is just it narrows it down through various sorting machines until the end where it just sorts until it just puts it in the chest. So for example, say a piece of cobblestone comes through this sorting machine. It won't get sorted because no cobblestone is in the thing. But as you see on the bottom left, that white thing, that white um, colour, means that all items that aren't in this sorting machine will go to the white pipe. And then go from this sorting machine, and this sorting machine, and this sorting machine, all the way round, back to the start. Um, back to the end, I mean. So, say the item isn't sorted in any of these machines, it means it will go up here into this chest. And that chest has all the items that aren't yet sorted. So I haven't sorted chests, ender chests, slime balls, or any of these items. So that's basically what we've got to be doing. Um, this is my also little add-on here that I find very useful, especially when mining and stuff. Up there's an ender chest. And what's special about an ender chest is, see the item in my hand now? That's called an, sorry, that's called an ender pouch. It means I can open the ender chest anywhere I want. So as you can see, it opens and closes when I open it. So say I put a piece of glowstone in. Sorry. It gets sucked out of the ender chest into the sorting machine. So this is very handy because say you've got a full inventory somewhere, you don't want to lose any stuff, just dump everything you want in this chest and it'll sort it out. So I'll be showing you how to make a more basic version of this because, well, frankly, <laughs> it'll take over an hour to make it this from scratch. So yeah, I'm just going to skip over to my uh, well, cheating world where I can spawn whatever I want. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I am back and yeah, let's... well before I start actually making the sorting machine, I just want to highlight that this this here is what the end product is going to look like. This is not a design of... well, it is a design, but this is not probably how most of you guys want to use this sorting machine. Like, for example, here, you've got the pipes coming out this way, which is probably not ideal for most people. Normally, you want to have the pipes going up or down, but this is just how to make it, and you can design it yourself to your own specifications. So this is not the only way to make it. There's no reason why it looks like this. You can just pump it wherever you want. This is just how I'm showcasing it now. So yeah, let's get started for the, with the materials. What you want to get is a battery box, a red power battery box, so one of these. You don't want a bat box, a, a, you, want, you want a battery box, not a bat box. They're different things, different mods. You also want some blue let, blue alloy wire, so some of this stuff. This just powers the battery box and powers the sorting machines. Now, you also need a source of um, red power power. I recommend solar panels because they're the easiest to use and much less complicated than a lot of the other choices. So yeah, you need a bunch of solar panels, bunch of blue alloy wire, battery box, don't want rain, yep, okay. Now, you also need a bunch of chests. Uh, I'm using crystal chests. I'll, I'll be honest, the main reason, only reason I'm using them is because they look cool. No other reason at all. Yep, so, um, yeah, any chest you want. Now, you also want a bunch of pneumatic tubes, just make a bunch of them, 
they'll be used eventually. <laughs> You're not wasting materials by making a bunch of pneumatic tubes, just... I'm not going to give you an exact number, because I don't know what specifications you've got to make this to, but just make a whole bunch of them. Just a bunch of pneumatic tubes. Now you also need four different colors. Four different color paintbrushes, so these four here. Now you want to make a white paintbrush and three colors. Doesn't matter what three, but I highly recommend you make a basic color, so not like, for example, uh, magenta or something like that, because it requires many different dyes to make. Just make something simple like red dye because all you need is rose or, cact or green dye because all you need is cactus. Just get simple colors. It will make the job much easier. So yep, you need colors. You need, uh, well obviously you need the sorting machines. So this is as many sorting machines as you'll need. So some of these ones here, sorting machines. And you also need some buffers. So a bunch of buffers. The same amount of sorting machines as buffers. You also want a transposer. Well, two transposers if you want to make the add-on thing I showed earlier, where you can sort stuff out from anywhere you want in the world. So, yeah, two transposers. And, yeah. You also want an alchemical chest and a talisman of repair. Now, the reason why is because... Well, I'll give you a speed demonstration now. You see how this data value for iron pickaxe is 257? Well, now... It's 2571, so it has a different data value. So if I put an iron pickaxe in the sorting machine, it will only sort out um, items with a data value of 257, not 2571. So what this does is, pretty much, if I put it all damaged items, if I put in here, watch the durability bar, it gets healed by the talisman of repair in here. So, yeah, for that reason you want to make an alchemical chest and a talisman of repair. Now also you'll need a timer and a bunch of red alloy wire. And yeah, that then you're pretty much set to make your own one of these. Now I'm just going to go over... Where am I going to go? I'm going to go over this way to make my own one of these. Yeah, so first you want to plonk down your battery box. Plonk it down anywhere, just wherever it's convenient. Just stick it there. Then you want to get some of your blue alloy wire. Just put it down in the line I recommend. Like this, just doesn't doesn't have to be set out like this. Just you know, quick demonstration. There. So now that should be getting power. See that bread going up? It's getting power. So now you got that sorted. You put, well, let's put down the base chest, the desk chest you'll be putting all your stuff in. So I'll put that there. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll be a bit pedantic. Make it face this way. <laughs> Sweet. So that's the chest you'll be putting stuff in to be sorted. So now you want to get one of your transposers and put it next to the chest. Now, uh, okay. See this big hole? You want that facing towards the chest, or probably easier to see. This small hole coming out of the chest, or coming away from the chest. So that represents output. Big hole represents input. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, next you want to get one of some of your pneumatic tubes. I'll probably need more of these later on, but I'll see how I do. Pneumatic tubes, and you can this, these can go as far as you like. It's just I'm trying to make it like that. So yeah, got pneumatic tubes into a buffer. Make sure the buff this line here is to far left, or else, well, yeah, just make sure it's to far left, or else it won't work. So, so yeah, you got your buffer. So now you want to put down your sorting machine with again the small hole. Out. So this hole going away, and um, well, it makes it easier. These two dots towards the buffer. So now you want to get some of your pneumatic tubes. Sorry, I don't mind blank there for a sec. And just lead it on into the various chests. Yep. So in the various chests. So now you want to put down, connect the mace to your chest. Doesn't matter what chest again, just any chest you want. Then you want to color code these with the three colors that you hopefully would have prepared earlier. Just right click on the tube. Uh, red. So yeah, so now that's color coded. Now you want to go to your sorter. Now 
before you do anything to the sorting machine, what you want to do first is see this symbol to the far left, the bottom left, the one I'm clicking now. Yeah, well, you want that. You keep clicking that until this box appears under it. Then you want to right click, um, left click that once until it becomes white, like that. So now, yeah, now you're pretty much sorted. Now you can just add whatever you want to these. So I'm just gonna color code these the same way I color color those three. So. Yep, three blues, two reds, oh, three reds, and two greens. There. So as demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put in these three items. Um, you obviously this point, you probably want to put more items in here just to sort it out. But this is just a, as a demonstration, a test, if you will. So next, you want to get this moving on and get your white paintbrush out and highlight this white. Make sure it's past this line or else because what it does it sends make sure the item labeled white will go through the white pipe. So you put white here for example then it'll just go in there and get all confused and that's bad. So now you want to get one of your buffers out again. So yep one of these guys here buffers. Again you just want to probably got to repeat the process exactly as this with obviously different items. So yeah, just set up the same way, this line, far left, like so, pop down your sorter, sorting machine. Like that. Just make sure the small hole's out again, and these two dots are towards the buffer. That's very essential, as you don't want to screw that up. So again, I'm just going to place in three random items. Um, actually, you know, actually, before I do that, I'm going to... Hmm, that could be a problem. I don't I don't want these pipes connected, so I'm just gonna move it one more over. Just give me a sec. Like so. Probably gonna get I need a few more of these pipes, as I said earlier. Okay, yep, so just same principle, hook them up like that. Once you get your three colours out. And just colour code them. Like that. Okay. So now they're color coded. You can put in your item. So again, be careful with items of durability because they generally screw things up. So I'm just gonna put dirt in here. Hey, what I put in this one? Cobblestone. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna put in three different items: dirt. What do I need? Blue alloy. Chests. Want to be double check? Don't want to screw this up. Okay. So now just label them whatever colors you want. Boom, like that. So yep, just three. And again, make sure this bottom left thing is white. So now you just want to. Now, assuming this is goes on over various sorting machines, and you want to make, assuming this is the last one here, like for your sorting machine, once it's over, once it's gone through all the sorting machines, what you want to do is pump the rest of items into an alchemical chest. Not a crystal chest or whatever chest you're using. Make sure it's an alchemical chest, or else it won't work. And in the bottom right slot, you want to put in your talisman of repair. And, um, yeah. And you also want to make sure that you paint this white. So that just makes sure it goes into there, pretty much. So what this chest acts is, um... Okay, what <laughs> what this chest acts is, is that it repairs all, well, most durability items. And it also acts as, so you know what's not in your sorting machine, so you can tweak it as you go. So yeah, now you've got your, you got your backbone down. Now you just want to power the dang things. Power. Did I just say dang? Yeah. You want to power them. Um. Yeah. So. Just get some of your blue alloy wire. This is going to look really tacky, but I'm just going to roughly just do that. 
whatever gets the job done, right? <laughs> so now to the far left, you can see that bar going up. That means it's charging. And I just want to do the same for all the sorting machines. Uh, yep, so now they're both getting power. So now they're getting powered. Well, you're almost set, pretty much. You're at the end of the tunnel. All you got to do is hook up all these, the sort, two sorting machines, and the transposer. Don't forget about the transposer, or else it won't be sucked out. All those three to a timer. So. Now I find the nice time is about 0 0.7 seconds, so 7 milliseconds. So yeah, let's just test this. Put one glowstone in, get sucked out, pump through this, into a just into its color. So let's just check. Glowstone was labeled blue. In here? Blue. So it works good. Now let's test an item that's not in here. So let's test um crystal chest. The crystal chest, it's because it's not part of this sorter, it just moved on. And now it went into this sorter, and into its chest. So, yeah, the sorting machine works. All's good. Um, actually, I might... Okay, see so this screwdriver? It's got a durability value, and it's not in any of these chests, so I'm going to put it in here. Now, what this has got to do, it's got to go to that alchemical chest, and repair itself. So... There. and over time it will repair itself. We'll come back to that later. It takes a while to help and repair, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much your sorting machine done. You're done. Everything I do from now on is just extras. So now I'm gonna hook up. See this ender chest thing over there? I'm gonna hook that up. Now just so I don't get confused, I'm gonna kill this ender chest <laughs> because, well, if I if I put an item in the end of pouch, then I might go to that sorter and just screw things up, so don't want that. So yeah, I'm just going to hook up the ender chest thing. So to do that, you want a pneumatic tube and a transposer. With this trans... I need my screwdriver. Oh, you can see it's healed. The um, transposer is healed. Good, nice. Right. So yeah, that's all good. Um, yeah, so just going to. So I'm just gonna check something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so it's all healed. Make sure the small hole is going down, and the big hole is up. So the transposer's down. Now you just all got to put down zero in the chest. Sweet, so now your ender chest is down. Now, what you got to do now, maybe a bit awkward for me, but I shall try to. You want to give your transposer... Screw that up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't screw that up, actually. I got it correct. Um, yeah, so you want to give that transposer a tick, or else it won't work. So, so now it's getting a tick. Now you want to get your ender pouch. Say I'm out mining, go to full inventory, just shift click, dump stuff in there. So now I'm dumping stuff in, it gets put into this chest. This chest then puts it through the sorting machine to get sorted. So this just works as a sorting machine. You don't have to actually be at the dumper chest, you can be anywhere you want and all sorted out there. So, just trying to think if I missed anything. Um, Yeah, that, that pretty much covers it. That's how you make a sorting machine. Um, if you want me to make a, an hour long tutorial on how to make the sorting machine I did back at the world you saw earlier, I'll do it, but make sure you leave it in the comments and if enough people want me to do it, I'll be sure to make another video on it. So, yes, this has been Jamal. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. I put a lot of work in these videos and see you guys next time.